Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe, and today we're going to be talking about the Olympics. Do you like the Olympics? Yes, Gabe. I like watching the Olympics. On TV, it is very exciting to watch the Olympic Games, and today we're going to learn how to talk about the Olympics. Are you ready? Good. Let's start with our key words. The first one is postcard. Postcard. Look at this postcard. It has a picture of New York on it. Sad. Sad. Annabelle can't go with us. She's sad. Exciting. Exciting. This game is so exciting. I can't sit still. Race. Race. Let's watch the race. Jane can run really fast. Table tennis. Table tennis. Stephen can play table tennis really well. And we can say these key words together again. The first one is postcard. Postcard. Sad. Sad. Exciting. Exciting. Race. Race. Table tennis. Table tennis. Okay, Andrea, are you excited? Yes, I am excited. I'm sure the mission today is exciting. Yes, it won't be sad. Let's go and talk to Eddie. Hey, <gasps> Eddie. Yeah, I am so excited. The Olympics are coming. Yes, they are. What do you have in your hand? What?、Oh, it's it's the Olympics. I、it's、think the Olympics. Oh yes, is it a a postcard from the Olympics? Yeah, it's to remind me. That the Olympics are on.、Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, does it also have the mission? Well, yeah, yeah. Actually, it does. Here is today's mission. Where are Sarah's parents? Where are Sarah's parents? Good question. Good mission. Let's find out the answer in today's lesson. Hello, Sarah. Here's a postcard for you. Thanks. It's from my parents, and it's from Beijing. <sighs> my parents are so lucky; they are at the Summer Olympics. Wow! But I'm sad. I'm not at the Summer Olympics. I'm sorry. Me too. But I have a postcard. Look at the picture; it's so pretty. Look at the picture. It's so pretty. Now, Andrea, what are they looking at? They are looking at a postcard, and there is a pretty picture on the postcard. Well, you just said our key word, friends. Say this word with me: postcard. Postcard. Good job. A postcard is something that you get in the mail. But a postcard does not have an envelope. It's not inside of an envelope. It's just a card. A postcard has a picture on one side, and on the other side you can write a message. Usually, you write the person's name and address who you are sending the postcard to, and then you write a short message. Now, there's not. A lot of room to write on a postcard, but you can write something short. And postcards are nice because a lot of times the picture on the front of the postcard is a beautiful picture, so you can say it's a beautiful postcard. And some people even collect postcards. You can collect postcards by buying them at different places you visit. 
or by collecting the postcards you get in the mail. And we see that Sarah's postcard is from Beijing. Friends, we have found the answer to today's mission right here. The mission is, where are Sarah's parents? Where are Sarah's parents? They are at the Summer Olympics in Beijing. That's so cool. They're at the Summer Olympics. But is Sarah happy? No, Sarah says she's sad. She's not at the Summer Olympics. So she's sad, and we get to learn this word, the uh. word sad. Say it again, sad. If you're sad, it means you're not happy. If you're sad, you usually don't have a smile on your face. Maybe you're sad because you miss someone, or you're sad because you can't be at the Olympics. Are you watching the Olympics on TV? Yes, they are so exciting. I can watch them for hours. I can too. I watch the Olympics every night. Me too. Which events do you like best? I like the track events. The men and women can run so fast. Yeah, the races are really exciting. Well, Betty starts by asking Sarah a question. She says, are you watching the Olympics on TV? Is Sarah watching? Well, yes. She says they are exciting. So yeah, she is watching. She is watching. They are exciting. Well, friends, we have an exciting keyword for you. Are you ready? The keyword is exciting. Exciting. If something is exciting, that means it makes you happy. If it's exciting, you want to do it. That's right. If it's exciting, you can say, this is very exciting. I am so excited. But be careful, friends. If you are excited, don't say, oh, I am so exciting. No, say, I am so excited. Right. A person is excited. But a thing is exciting, like watching the Olympics on TV. The Olympics are so exciting that Sarah says she can watch them for hours. Now that just means that Sarah likes them so much, she can watch them for a long time. Maybe you say, I could study English for hours. I could study Chinese for days. Well, maybe not for days, but I could study for hours. Right, so for hours or for days, we use these words to talk about doing something for a long time. Well, let's keep learning. Our next key word is race. Race. A race is a time where you see who is the fastest at something. That's right, so something you might hear in a contest or at a competition, like at the Olympics, you might hear, let the races begin. That means the races will start soon. So you can watch a race or you can be in a race. There's different races like a running race or a car race. Which events do you like, Betty? I like table tennis. The ball goes really fast. Table tennis is fun. And I like baseball. The teams are so good. And I like soccer. I do too. Oh, and I like tennis and badminton and all swimming events. So you really like all the events. I do. <laughs> well, we see here that Betty likes all of the events. Andrea, what kind of events are mentioned here? Oh, many events are talked about. There is soccer, tennis, baseball, swimming events, and table tennis. Yes, all these different sports. And table tennis is a sport. Friends, say these words with me. Table tennis. Table tennis. Table tennis is a sport. It's like tennis, but you play it on a table uh, with a smaller ball. 
And Betty says that the ball goes really fast. That's why she likes table tennis. And it's true. You have to focus when you watch table tennis so you can keep watching the small ball going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. That's right. So let's use this word or these words in another way. Like any sport, you can say, let's play before. So you can say, let's play table tennis or let's play soccer or let's play baseball or let's play tennis. That's right. So they're going to watch this table tennis game. Betty likes it because the ball goes really fast. Andrea, I have played table tennis and the ball does go really fast if people are good. Well, Gabe, maybe we should try to play table tennis together sometime. Maybe. Maybe the ball would go really slow. That's true. Word power. It's time for word power. This week we're talking about the Olympics. One popular Olympic sport is swimming. Let's learn about it. There are many races in the Olympics. In swimming, all the events are races. The person who swims the fastest wins. Race. Race. People who swim are called swimmers. Many swimmers swim in the Olympics. Swimmer. Swimmer. A swimmer swims in a swimming pool. Pools can be small or large. In the Olympics, swimmers swim in a big swimming pool. An Olympic-sized swimming pool. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Some swimming pools have lanes. When swimmers race, they must stay in the lanes. Lane. Lane. Swimmers dive into the water to begin a race. They put their arms and hands straight up over their heads. Then they jump and go into the water head first. Dive. Dive. Swimming is fun to watch. Remember these words the next time you watch the Olympics and you'll have word power. Conversation Replay Hello, Sarah. Here's a postcard for you. Thanks. It's from my parents. And it's from Beijing. <sighs> my parents are so lucky. They are at the Summer Olympics. Wow. But I'm sad. I'm not at the Summer Olympics. I'm sorry. Me too. But I have a postcard. Look at the picture. It's so pretty. Are you watching the Olympics on TV? Yes. They are so exciting. I can watch them for hours. I can too. I watch the Olympics every night. Me too. Which events do you like best? I like the track events. The men and women can run so fast. Yeah, the races are really exciting. Which events do you like, Betty? I like table tennis. The ball goes really fast. Table tennis is fun. And I like baseball. The teams are so good. And I like soccer. I do too. Oh, and I like tennis and badminton and all swimming events. So you really like all the events. I do. <laughs> Calendar phrase. Hey, Gabe, huh? let's watch the Olympics. Uh, that's a good idea, but I want to watch Let's Talk in English. Oh, well, OK, but let's watch the Olympics. Andrea, let's talk in English and let's teach today's calendar phrase. Let's do that. Our calendar phrase is let's watch the Olympics. 
Let's watch the Olympics. If you want to watch the Olympics or something else on TV, you can say, "Let's, let's watch, watch the Olympics or something else on TV." Well, let's watch our calendar phrase skit. Let's watch the Olympics. Let's watch the Olympics. Hey, Marie. Let's watch the Olympics. What event is going on right now? Swimming. That's my favorite sport. Okay, let's watch the Olympics. Who is winning? I don't know. Let's watch the Olympics. Oh, my favorite swimmer is winning! Woohoo! Go team, go! Let's watch the Olympics. Let's watch the Olympics. Well, that was an exciting lesson, and we have an exciting question of the day right now. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. You you got a question for us? Oh, I always have a good question, and today is a good day to give you a question again. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here right. it is. The question of the day: Are you watching the Olympics on TV? Why or why not? Are you watching the Olympics on TV? Why or why not? Yes, I am watching the Olympics on TV because the Olympics are exciting. Good answer, friends. Thank you for joining us here today on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English, English can, can be, be fun. fun. Goodbye.、Bye. See you next time. <laughs>